Kuzangpo, welcome to Bhutan e-learning project. My name is Kezang Chodin from Alekha Primary School and this is a mathematic lesson for Key Stage 1. Today we will learn about pattern, its types and how to create different types of pattern. Are you ready for the lesson? Okay, first of all I want you to see this. What can you see here? Yes, it's a beautiful pattern of Kira. And what about this? It's tiles. Yes. So, do you know that all around the world we have different types of patterns. We just have to notice them. So, Kira and tiles are also example of patterns. Now, to make it more clear, let's take another example. Can you see shape here? We have triangle, circle, triangle, circle, triangle, circle. Did you notice that triangle and circle are repeating over and over? Or you can say that every after triangle comes circle. So it is also a pattern. Example of pattern. Now, let's look into another example. For this, I want you to listen to me very carefully. I want you to open your ears. So, children, what did I do just now? First, I clapped twice. Then, I snapped twice. Isn't it? So, just now, I made a sound pattern it is called sound pattern why sound pattern because first i clap twice then snap so you can say that every snapped comes clap or you can say that clap and snapped were repeating over and over so this is another example of pattern okay so now we are done with the example of patterns but you may be wondering what is pattern so, here is the definition of pattern. Pattern is a sequence in which the item occurs in a predictable manner. Yes, pattern is a sequence in which the items occur in a predictable manner. Okay children, now let's look into types of patterns. Do you know how many types of patterns are there? Never mind, I am here for you. There are three types of pattern yes in this lesson we will learn three types of pattern first first one is repeating pattern second one is growing pattern and the third one is shrinking patterns so these are the three types of patterns first pattern we will learn today is called repeating pattern do you know what is repeating pattern Repeating pattern is a pattern in which certain part is repeated again and again and that part is called core. Yes, that part is called core. In repeating pattern, core is repeated over and again. Let's take example. You can see here we have red box, blue box, red box, blue box, red then what will come next? What comes next? I don't know what to do. What comes next? The color is? Yes, blue. The color is blue. Now, did you notice that red and blue is repeated over and again? So, red and blue is called core of this pattern. Yes. Then, after red comes blue, so at the end, the color is blue you got the answer right now let's take example another example we are done with the color pattern now let's take shape pattern so we have shapes here triangle circle triangle si circle triangle circle now this is called shape pattern similar like color pattern this pattern also has core now what is the core in this pattern 
yes triangle and circle is called core in this pattern because triangle and circle is repeated over and over and not to forget we can also represent this repeating pattern in letters yes you can represent this patterns in letters let let us give name to this pattern so let triangle be a then let circle be b so this pattern can also be represent in a b a b a b so we can also represent patterns in letters so this is how repeating pattern works now let's look into second type of pattern second type of pattern we have is growing pattern growing pattern is also called as increasing pattern for this let's look into example first set second set third set fourth set in the first set we have two tiles then in the second set we have four tiles in the third set we have six six tiles and at the end we have eight tiles in the last set now you may have noticed that in every set in every set tiles are increasing by number 2 constant amount constant amount by 2 so this is called growing pattern in the growing pattern number or size increases by small to big like in this example in every set in every successive set tiles are increasing by amount 2 or number 2 this is called constant amount and here we have constant amount of 2 children now we are done with the second type of patterns now we'll go to third type of pattern that is shrinking pattern which is also called as decreasing patterns shrinking pattern is just opposite of growing pattern for this also we will look into example we have number here 100 90 80 70 and 50 you may have noticed that number is decreasing by constant amount yes 10 number is decreasing by the constant amount of 10 first we had 100 then minus 10 if you do minus then comes 90 then again if you minus 10 from 90 then comes 80 so here in this example number is decreasing by constant amount 10 so this is an example of shrinking or decreasing pattern okay children we have reached to our end of our lesson now i want you to think what did we learn today yes we learn what is patterns we have learned a definition of pattern we learn types of patterns how many patterns did we learn yes there are three types of pattern number 1 repeating pattern number 2 growing pattern number 3 shrinking pattern now i hope you can create your own pattern since you have been a very good student i have a gift for you do you know what that gift is that is a song do you like rhyme song so here it goes one man went to mo went to mo a meadow one man and his dog woof woof went to mo a meadow two men went to mo went to mo a meadow two men one man and his dog woof woof went to mo a meadow three men went to mo went to mo a meadow three men two men one man and his dog woof woof went to mo a meadow four men went to mo went to mo a meadow four men three men two men one man and his dog woof woof went to mo a meadow so children this is the end of our lesson so stay home stay safe keep washing your hand see you in the next lesson